Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another episode of the Benny Rodriguez story here on MLB 15, the show. The Jet has been promoted to the AAA level. You guys probably recall that. I know it's been a while since we uploaded an episode of this series, and I apologize, guys. It's just been so crazy trying to do as much stuff as I can. Uh, summer has been actually been very, very busy for me at work, which is kind of crazy. I'm not trying to make excuses. Just want to let you guys know exactly what's going on, let you know why it's been a little while since we've uploaded an episode of this series. But I do want to still continue it, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Obviously, make sure that you hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, if you do enjoy it and drop a comment as well if you would guys so let's talk about where we've been so uh so far in the triple a level we've done pretty well for ourselves but we still haven't even hit a home run right there first at bat of this game the guy at second base for some reason tries to take third and he's just terribly late and we end up having to sit down so we're gonna be back up here in uh the next inning but uh like i mentioned before we've done pretty well at hitting the ball so far uh, at the AAA level, it hasn't exactly translated from the AA level where, you know, we were just crushing the ball and uh, pretty much doing whatever we wanted to the opposing pitchers. But uh, it's, been a, it's been a little bit more of a struggle, but we're still hitting really, really well in the 400s for a batting average right now still at the AAA level. So that's very good, obviously. Hoping to get that promotion up to the majors at some point in this first season. Now take a look at this at bat because this one cracked me up. Should be an easy play for the center fielder and he completely misses it. And we are going to go all the way to third base. Potentially could have gone home here, but I didn't realize that the throw was going to be that off target. So we stick at third base with what ended up being an error for a triple, basically. Take a look at this one more time. We get a good power on it. But this is an easy play for the center fielder. I don't know how he possibly missed this, but look at this. Whoops! right past him there in center field and it's going to go all the way to the warning track i think it even hit the wall a little bit uh, and then uh the next at bat smacks it for a home run easy peasy and we are going to get two runs on the board here it all came from the fact that guy in center field missed the ball so we're very very happy about that now i was mentioning before that despite the fact that i've been hitting pretty well at the AAA level unfortunately we've still got no home runs here we're like 20 games in and still nothing on the board for home runs. We were hitting a lot of home runs at the AA level. Not like, you know, it, it wasn't anything insane. It wasn't Barry Bonds in his prime levels or anything like that. But, I mean, we were definitely on pace to get a good number of home runs as we get a single here. And that is actually going to drive the runner home from second base. Bad throw there by the outfielder. And we get an RBI for that base hit. Uh, but again... I don't know exactly what's going on here, why I'm not getting much power on my swings. I am using the square button, I, and I typically, guys, I know a lot of people like to use the uh, the analog stick to swing. I don't know. I, I just don't really get good timing on that from what I've been able to tell anyway. I haven't really done a good job with it, but we're still stealing a ton of bases as we get this one here. You guys can see we're getting a great jump most of the time, and I've really focused a lot on speed and just pure base running ability, getting those good jumps. So it's been pretty easy to steal bases despite the fact that we're not getting home runs. We're still contributing a lot on the base paths, and we're turning singles into doubles and even triples potentially, I guess, you know, if you consider the fact that we're taking second base and third base a lot of the time. We're, I mean, we're on pace to do some serious damage in the stolen bases department. And we're going to get another nice hit here right down the third baseline. And we're going to get in there to first base again. So here we are again, guys, back on the base paths one more time. And we're going to try and take second here. An excellent throw by the catcher, though, actually gets us. That is a pretty rare thing. I do not get caught often stealing second base. Third base on occasion, but second base is usually pretty pretty darn easy at least at the AAA level and I think that I got in there I think that was a bad call personally by that second base umpire you guys let me know in the comment section below what you think I think that we tagged second base before they threw us out so let me know what you guys think about that one but either way a decent game for us our team does win that one five to three in regulation Next game on the docket, we have Oklahoma City against the Round Rock Express. Instead of hitting in a premier position, we're hitting at the bottom of the lineup here. I really don't understand why they keep putting me so low in the lineup and like switching me back and forth. You would think you would want to create some sort of cohesiveness, I guess, to the lineup in some form. You know, I, I've hit leadoff, third, fourth, eighth, ninth. I don't know what the hell the deal is. There's no real consistency in our playing time right now at AAA. 
So hopefully at some point they give us an actual consistent spot in the lineup. And take a look at this. Our first at bat, the very first pitch, they just nail us right in the hip. The Jet takes one right off of the hip. Oof, that would hurt. That would hurt. <laughs> Definitely a painful one there. I mean, at least it wasn't a, a super strong fastball or something like that. That that would really, really hurt. But even any pitch is going to hurt at the AAA level. These guys can throw with some heat, even on things like curveballs. Next at bat, first pitch once again, he hits another batter. Look, Take a look at this. Pretty much the same spot, a little bit lower on this guy than it was off of the Jet. But still, two batters in a row, and he doesn't get ejected. Neither of us came around to score that inning either, so that was pretty frustrating. But uh, take a look now. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning here. Man on first and second base here. We've got an opportunity to get an RBI, and we swing and miss at that one. A great pitch there. 78 miles per hour on the bottom outside corner. Very, very difficult to hold off on. And uh, definitely not an easy one to even get a hit on, even if we did make contact. Then he's going to go opposite corner here with a 96 mile per hour fastball. So this guy seriously has some good pitches. And that one's going to miss wide outside with the slider. That one is pretty easy to hold off of. Definitely trying to get an RBI here, though. This is a big situation for the team. Down 2-1 to one in this one. And we're going to hold off of another one there. Change up pretty close to the same spot as the other one, but definitely a little bit more off the plate. So it was easier to hold off on this one. And then the next pitch, we get what we wanted there with the fastball, but it is just too fast. And we're not able to get on top of it and get a big hit on it. So evens the count here at 2-2. Two and two, And the Jet is going to be swinging again. And this time, he is going to make contact, bringing home the guy from second base. The other guy probably could have gotten over to third base, but he is not going to attempt it. But we do get the RBI there, so that is pretty nice. And we are going to eventually take the lead in this one. So, 3-2 to two here, bottom of the sixth inning. A man on first base now for our next at-bat. And as you guys can see there, the legend difficulty level has gone up. We're pretty much, as far as I know, I think that's the top difficulty level that we're at. So pretty damn impressive that we're still hitting the ball fairly efficiently, even at the high legend level. But I mean, I guess at the AAA level, it's not overly difficult to get hits. That one probably, I mean, I still have no idea how that wasn't a home run. It even said good. I made good contact on it. It was right over the middle and I, I guess the pitch. So uh, kind of pissed off that we didn't get a home run on that one. But the very next pitch, we are going to single pass the pitcher there to the outfield, and we get on base one more time with another solid contact base hit. So we're picking up small amounts of points here. Still, again, no home runs here, but we're still consistently hitting the ball, getting on base with singles and things like that. This one here, I thought for a second might be going over the fence, but it ended up just going to the warning track, and we're not going to even advance the runner there with that at bat. So the team does end up winning this one 4-2, to two, 13 total hits for the team. We go 2-3 for three in this one with the, the hit by pitch and an RBI. So pretty solid game for us, but nothing overly impressive. Still not hitting for much power here, but hey, we did get an RBI, so I can't complain too much. Now, next game, first at bat of the game for us is in the top of the third here. And take a look at that score. Yikes. Yeah, absolutely brutal. Already down five to nothing. The team fortunately has been playing pretty well for the most part. So we haven't been in a lot of situations like this, like we were at the double A level. If you guys recall, pretty much most of the games, our pitchers were allowing a ton of runs like every single time. So even if we would hit two home runs in a game, we were still losing a lot of the games. The team I think had like a barely even record or by the end of the time when we actually got promoted, they might've actually had a losing record if I remember correctly. But here we are gonna get a line drive out there to the outfield, a nice hit there. So a four pitch at bat and we are on base. Not too bad to start the game, didn't really do much with it, but hey, we're on base, we get the single, it's helping out in the stat sheet if nothing else, man. Down seven to nothing now here in the top of the fifth. Man on first base here, gotta try and advance him over with one out, trying to at least get him in position here so that he could score with the next batter up. But we've got to try and get something going here. This is just an embarrassing game. And we do get a hit here. That kind of jammed me. But hey, we'll take it. Sometimes you just have to get lucky. That was definitely not a great hit. It says solid contact there. But it looked like it was a little far inside. And we do get the benefit of that one going right past the shortstop. So another single there. But again, 
not able to do much because the next batter did get out. So, I mean, it's just, it's a little bit frustrating at this point because we've gotten on base a couple of times and we still haven't really been able to do much with it as this pitcher is still in the game here in the top of the seven, 98 pitches he has thrown at this point. Got to try and make him pay at some point, right? Oh man, he left that one right over the plate, 78 miles per hour. Could have been a huge home run if we made contact on it, but it was not to be. So the next pitch here, down one, two in the count, and oh man, thought I made good contact on that one, but we were a little bit late on it. Another change up right over the heart of the plate. Man, if I could have just made contact with that strong, it would have been a home run. This time though, we are gonna ground out right to the shortstop, but he throws it over the top of the first baseman's head, and we get the benefit of another fielding error in this one. So hey, that's pretty nice. You can't complain when you get those fielding errors to go in your direction. So not too bad there. Da again, down seven to nothing. This game's pretty much over in the top of the seventh already. And we're gonna try and take second base because why not? Let's do something on the stat sheet if we can't do anything in the runs department. And we get the stolen base there again pretty easily. Next at bat, and this guy is going to get a single here. So hey, we're gonna come around and score. We're not going to be held to a donut in this game. That pitcher did allow a run. So, hey, not too bad. It, it could have definitely been worse. At least we did something worthwhile in this game. We scored the one and only run that the team has at this point here in the top of the ninth. One man on, and we are going to foul this one away. First pitch of the at-bat does go for a foul. Again, this guy's still in the game right now. I haven't seen a pitcher throw this many pitches that I can recall, unless he's going for, like, a no-hitter or something. 128 pitches. But I guess you can't blame him when he's making guys swing and miss like that one. That was pretty ugly as we swing at one that pretty much was in the dirt almost. And uh, again, two outs here. This is the last at-bat of the game if we don't get on. But we do. We hit it past the third baseman there right down the line. And we are going to get another single here. So a pretty good game, all things considered, for me at least as a batter. The Jet had a pretty damn good game. And he is actually going to try and take third here. And there's no one there at third, bit, third base. Easy steal there to help pad the stats. So that is going to wrap up the game, guys. We do end up losing 8-2 to two in this one. Pretty embarrassing loss for the team. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.